Hey Kayla, is it true that your family home is in Atami? Yeah, Rachel. Well, you came to Tokyo from Atami for marriage. You must be weird. How could you say that? It's none of your business. I have been living with my wonderful husband. Moreover, I love either urban or rural. I cannot believe that you love both of them. Too many people live in the city. However, a tummy would be great. There are hot springs. There are in Tokyo as well. Nope, I don't care about a hot spring in Tokyo. But I would like to try it in a tummy. I want to live in a place where there is a hot spring. Well, it depends on where you live. I can say that either Tokyo or Atami would be a great place to live. I'm sick of all your words. I'm just saying that I adore hot spring, but are you telling me that I'm wrong? I'm not saying that you are wrong. I'm saying Tokyo is a great place as well as Atami. Although my hometown is here, Tokyo, I've never thought Tokyo was a great place to live. Because everyone has gone to their hometown during the holidays. It's boring. I wish my hometown would be somewhere far from Tokyo. Well, you got married in your hometown, Tokyo. That is why you have no hometown to go back. Yes, I got a great idea. What? I can go to your hometown. What did you say? How come I haven't had such an amazing idea? Right away. Wait. Since the great idea came to my mind in a second, I must be a genius. Yes, I am. Hold on, did you say that you were going to my hometown? It doesn't make sense. How could you say that? Since I want to go to Atami, I will go there with you, that's all. You've got to be kidding me. Here is your hometown, right? So how can you say that you are going to my hometown with me? Well, aren't you going back to your hometown in a few days? If so, will you take me with you? No way. How come I have to do that? If you are going back, it doesn't matter who is going with you, right? But if I go to Tammy with you, my family would say something, so I want you to take my whole family with you. What? Seriously? I definitely won't do that. You need to make your travel plans to Atami if you want to go. Oh, don't be so harsh. We don't have many chances to go to Atami. Moreover, we hardly take family trips. So don't you feel like you can give us the gift of enjoying our travels to Atami? I don't feel sympathy for you and your family at all. You and I are adults and independent, but you are asking me to take you on a trip? You must be crazy. How dare you? You are mean. Okay, if you won't take us on your trip, I have another plan. What is your plan? I won't take you with me, but you and your family will follow me, won't you? Even if you try it, I would never let you come with me. You have to make your own travel plans and go if you want to. You won't be able to win. I know you will take the bullet train to Atami. I've heard it from Mrs. Suzuki. And moreover, your bullet train will leave Tokyo at 1400 hours. I will be there to catch the bullet train. A piece of cake. I see. You will wait for me at the train station and go with me. Sorry, but you shouldn't think it would be so easy to go with me. Are you trying to intimidate me? Shame on you. You better not. You will know what happens sooner or later. Anyway, you can say whatever you want. I bet you will regret your plan once you find out. I'm at Tokyo Station. Where are you? Why don't you meet me and buy train tickets? I'm broke, so can you pay for me? Thanks. Too bad. I'm on the bullet train now. What? Wasn't it 1400 hours at Tokyo Station? Too bad. It doesn't matter how early I leave, as I did not want you to come with me. I needed to change my departure time. How could you do that to me? It was a good chance for me to go to Atami. Well, you and your family should go to Atami without relying on my money. Silly you, I don't want to spend my money. That's why I tried to go with you. If I pay for my trip, there would be no purpose. 
Even if you say so, I won't take you with me. Definitely not. In other words, since I'm on the train now, there's nothing you can do. You will either cancel your family trip or pay for your own trip. There would be only two choices for you. No, I have another choice. You are going to get off the bullet train right now and come back to meet me. What? Don't you understand how selfish you are? The stupid idea that you wanted to join my trip has caused me much trouble. Don't tell me it's my fault. What the heck are you saying? It's your fault no matter what anyone thinks. How could you do that to me? My husband had to take the day off even though he had an important task. And my daughter cancelled an appointment with her friend at the last minute. Since they changed their plans because of the trip, if they find out that I won't be able to go on the trip, they would be mad at me. Oh no, your husband and daughter were ready for the trip. It was definitely your fault, no doubt. So don't blame me. No way! It's your fault! You got on the bullet train of your own choice. Why didn't you wait for me until 1400 hours? Well, if I waited for you until 1400 hours, I had to take you with me. If so, I would have been annoyed by you. That's why I left earlier. Kayla, why don't you feel sympathy for me? I haven't gone on a trip recently at all. The Atami trip would have been a great opportunity for our family trip. Why have you ruined it? You were so mean. You have a family, and if you want to go on a trip, you pay for your trip. That's common sense, right? But you are trying to get me to pay for your trip, even if I'm not your family. So you are totally wrong. If you understand, you shouldn't expect someone to pay for your trip. Wait, are you going to abandon me? I won't let you do this. You will have to pay for me continuously. Wait, are you still demanding my money? Anyway, you are saying that I will abandon you, but... From the very beginning, I have never thought about helping you or taking you with me on my trip. At all. I can tell you've misunderstood that you could go with me on my trip. So, can you stop saying that I was supposed to take you on my trip? Why? When we had a conversation the other day, I was supposed to go on a trip with you, right? But I can't believe what you've done to me. You are so mean. You're out of your mind. If you're going on a trip, you'd better apologize to your husband and daughter. Were they coming with you to believe in your stupid plan? If they will find out that you guys won't go on a trip, they will no doubt be mad at you. I absolutely won't tell them. If they find out, they will definitely be outraged. If so, it's your fault. I did nothing wrong. Are you saying that again? You are the one that caused all the trouble no matter what anyone thinks. By the way, Mrs. Sato and Tanaka told me that you've been asking everyone to take you on their trip as you asked me. Luckily, they refused you, so they enjoyed their trip without you. I guess that you were rejected by all of them. That's why it was a last chance to go with me, right? What? What are you saying? No possible way. Stop speculating. Oh, I thought my guess would be right. Well, I don't care what you did, but it was certain that you were trying to go on my trip. So, I won't be your friend anymore. What? Why did you end being my friend suddenly? Suddenly? Think about what you did. It was insane that you tried to go to my hometown with me and you demanded me to pay for your train tickets, do you think you would go out or shopping with such a rude person continuously? If I were you, I would say that I definitely won't hang out with her. Even if you say so, I was really planning a lot then. What were you planning? I know you. You thought you could go on someone's trip for free. Then you could save your money, am I right? It's easy to guess what you think because of who you are. Don't tell me you understand what I think. If you are confident that you understand other people, then do not let them go on your trip. You will lose your friends. Oh, thank you for caring about me, but you don't need to. I have so many friends, not like you. What? Seriously? Don't say that I have no friends at all. Well, do you have any friends, Rachel? I was talking to Mrs. Sato and Tanaka a few minutes ago, but they told me that they won't talk to you anymore. What? Mrs. Sato and Tanaka said so? If they hang out with you from now on, they assume that you will come on their trip by some chance, before it will happen. They told me that they will end being your friend. They were mad at you. What? Damn it! They should have been exploited by me without complaining. 
I can't believe you consider your friends as your subordinates. No wonder you have no friends. If they find out what you call them, they would be outraged. But can't you realize if you are so offensive to your friends, you will lose friends? You might be right, but there's nothing I can do. I don't know any different way to communicate with my friends. The way you talk to your friends is self-centered. That's why. You've had few friends. I understand very well. Hold on, you've been saying that the more friends you have, the better person you are. But you can't say that a better person has many friends, right? It is true. But as for you, Rachel, if you don't have any friends, you won't be able to go on someone's trip. I mean, it would be a serious problem for you. Yeah, you are right. If you won't be my friend, whose trip can I go on? How could you do this to me? You, at the last moment, you are still trying to go on someone's trip. You do understand what is happening to you, don't you? Listen, I'll let you know clearly. You will never be able to hang out with all of your friends from now on. And you need to apologize to your husband and daughter for what you did. So why don't you make the decision to tell the truth that you've annoyed me? Did I annoy you? That's not true. I just wanted to go on your trip with your money. It was a little thing, but why did you accuse me? You and your friends are the bad guys, not me. Really? I'm trying to let you know, but you don't realize it. Okay, that's enough. Mrs. Suzuki is on my side. You might not realize that, but I will wake you up in a harsh way. I think it would be better for you. Wait! What are you going to do to me? I would never forgive you if you did something weird to me. Well, I won't. I'm just going to call your husband right now. What? You will call my husband? Why? How did you get my husband's phone number? Mrs. Suzuki went shopping and she met your husband by chance and they exchanged their phone numbers. I heard the story from her a minute ago and I will explain what you've done to him. Wait! Don't call my husband freely! It would be sexual harassment! It won't be. Seriously? Well, because you are trying to call my husband, and it sounds like you will do something immoral. I definitely don't think so. I just want you to be punished and not repeat your actions. That's all I want to do. No kidding! Why do I have to be punished and be told by you? You are really insane, if you believe you're right. I've just called your husband, so you'd better be scolded by him. What? What have you done to me? Wait! My husband is outraged. He said, Why did you do this? And you ruined my day off. And my daughter is upset as well. Why do they have to accuse me? Because you've misunderstood that you could go on someone's trip and turn it into your family trip. Well, you need to be scolded by him. And on your way home, your husband's lecture would be nice background music. You won't be able to go on a trip, but you will enjoy lively music on your way home. What do you mean by that? No, it was not my plan. It's all your fault. So you need to do something for me. I've told you many times. The reason you lost your friends and have been accused by your husband and daughter is that you try to go on someone's trip with their money all the time. So you were being punished. In other words, you were suffering the consequences of your own actions. Therefore, don't blame someone else. Well, it would be no use in saying something to you. We will never hang out with you from now on. Don't say that! We're friends! So, can you still be my friend as we were before? I wish I could be your friend, but unfortunately, this happened because of you, not us. Not only Mrs. Sato and Tanaka, but also our other friends say, they are not going on a trip with you, and they won't talk to you. They won't be your friend anymore, so you don't belong to our friend group and you need to do everything by yourself. No way! If I lost my friends, I don't have anything to do. I've been getting along with my friends these days. It doesn't make sense what is happening to me. If you took me on your trip, everything would be okay. How could you do this to me? My husband is still upset, and my daughter won't talk to me. Do something, please.
Rachel called me and asked me for help, but I ignored her, and my friends and I have decided not to have contact with Rachel. Later, Rachel was lectured by her husband and daughter, and they went on a trip without Rachel. Rachel had to stay home alone, and she couldn't talk to any friends, so she has been alone for a few days. A little later, when they went on a family trip, Rachel could not go with them, and she was forced to stay home. My friends and I didn't care about her, and we enjoyed our lunch and trip together. Hi, Lily. Who is this? I'm Mary. Our kids go to the same kindergarten. Really? Well, no wonder you don't know me. I just moved here recently, and I've only seen you from afar. How do you know my ID? I just searched for it. Our kids go to the same kindergarten, so I'd like to be friends with you. Oh, so that's what this is about. I got a little taken aback. <laughs> but why is it me? You were talking about going to lunch with the other moms the other day. I'm new here and I need friends, and I thought going to lunch together would be perfect for it. How is it perfect? Let me in. Well, this lunch is only for moms whose kids are taking gymnastic classes. Well, that's okay, because I'm thinking about sending my kids to gymnastic classes too. Oh, really? Yep. So it's perfect. Well, I can't decide on my own. Don't say that. I just moved here. I'm lonely. But we're having lunch at a nice restaurant, so it's not a normal lunch. It's going to be a bit expensive. Well, it doesn't mean that it will cost like a thousand dollars, right? Well, yes, but we'll also be eating desserts. Desserts? I love desserts. Yeah, they're going to be great, but... Where are you going to eat at? I already said that I can't decide on my own. I'll ask the other moms then. Okay, well, if they don't approve, just tell me where it is, and I can join. Ten minutes later. Hey, Mary, I asked other moms about the lunch. How did it go? They said it's fine if your kids are planning to take gymnastic classes, too. See? I knew it. But you might not get along. It's okay. We all start off that way. Besides, I get along with everybody. Okay, that's nice. Yep, well, just let me know where and when I should go. I'll send you a map of the restaurant. Oh, so this is where you're eating? So is this an all-you-can-eat? I don't think it's an all-you-can-eat. It's a boozy restaurant. Well, some nice restaurants do all-you-can-eat. But we don't eat that much, so one portion is enough for us. Then, are the desserts all you can eat? I don't think they do all you can eat for desserts either. I prefer all you can eat, but oh well. That's too bad. You don't have to join if you don't want to. I didn't say I don't want to join. You're so quick to judge, Lily. I don't get to go to a fancy restaurant for lunch that often, so I'm really looking forward to it. So how many people are you planning to have lunch with? Five. Five, so it's going to be six if you count me in? We're all going out to lunch together, so we're going to split the bill, right? Well, in normal cases, yes. But if we split, everyone pays the same amount, so it's nice and easy, right? Yeah, if we do split. But this time, it's going to be a lunch set. And we're having sweets, too. Yeah, that's right. So how much should I bring for lunch this time? The lunch set is $30, and the rest will be for desserts. I see, so the rest will be for desserts, but we're splitting it, so... It's at a restaurant, so it's gonna be in buffet style, right? I don't know about that. You really don't know anything. How useless you are. What? Useless? Well, we'll know when we get there, and no matter how expensive it is, we're gonna split the bill, so it should be fine. I'll meet you at the restaurant. What? Okay. On the day of the lunch. Hey Mary, everyone's done eating, but where are you? People at the restaurant want you to pay for what you've eaten, and they are troubled. What happened? Are you in the bathroom? What's your problem? I need you to pay. I left the money on the table. Please pay with that for me. 
You only ate one portion, so it's your loss. We're not paying for what you ate, so you gotta pay. But you said we're splitting the bill. I never said we were going to split the bill. You said you normally do. That's what people generally do, but we don't do that. You said we'll split. I didn't. Only you did. You said if we split, we'd all pay the same amount, so that's what I was going to do. Why are you saying we're not splitting the bill now? I never said we're going to split the bill from the beginning. I don't want you to blame me for the assumption you made. But you said we were splitting the bill! That's what you said, but we're not splitting the bill, so you have to pay. The people at the restaurant seem troubled too. But I'm too far away already to pay though! What, you mean you've already left the restaurant? Without saying anything? You don't have to tell people when you're leaving, we're both adults. Or did you worry about me that I suddenly disappeared? I'm worried about you too, but if you're going to leave, you should at least say something. I won't. No, you should. Besides, I left my share on the table, so I didn't think it was necessary for me to stay. You just left $30. The lunch set was $30. Yes, but... That's for one person. You ate 15 servings of the lunch set alone. Wow, isn't it amazing I ate them all by myself? Yeah, but you also ate 72 pieces of cake. I thought we were splitting the bill, so there's nothing I can do about it. Well, even if we were going to split, this is so not enough. Why didn't you say that we weren't splitting the bill from the beginning? Then I wouldn't have eaten so much. So you are responsible for not telling me the correct information. Why is it my fault? Because you didn't tell me about the bill. If you had, I would have just eaten one portion. But you're the one who ate it. You should pay. Why are you so mad? How much did it cost anyway? You didn't even mention how much it costs. You ate 15 lunch sets, so that is $450. And the desserts costed... $1,080. So the total is $1,530. What? How come desserts cost more than lunch sets? Well, the price was written on the menu. Lunch sets are cheap because it's cheaper during lunchtime, but the desserts were in the regular price. Of course, they're more expensive. I totally don't get this. Even if you don't get it, you're the one who ate them, so you have to pay. They won't let us go if you don't pay. Don't worry, I'm out of there already. What are you talking about? We're the ones who can't leave. Well, then, why don't you just pay for it? I don't have that kind of big money. You have a credit card? Or you don't even have a credit card? Why should I use my credit card for you? I'll pay you back later anyway. I'm just asking you to pay for it temporarily. It's not a big deal. You're really going to pay me back? If you keep on nagging like this, I'll never go to get lunch with you again. That's my words. Two hours later. Mary, I've paid on your behalf. When will you pay me back? I said I'd pay, but if you keep talking like that, I wouldn't want to pay. Or do you actually not want me to pay or something? I'm asking because I want you to pay. You left $30 on the table, so... You'd have to pay for $1,500. I know, I know. You're really picky. Don't be stingy with that kind of money. You make it sound like I'm trying to steal from you. It's not like that, but... You didn't tell me in the beginning that it wasn't all you can eat, nor that you're not going to split the bill, and I'm still offering to pay for it, so why couldn't you wait? That's why I hate poor people. All right. How long do I have to wait then? I'll pay you next time I see you. A few days later. I saw you at kindergarten today, but you didn't return my money. Why was that? $1,500 is a lot of money. My husband wants you to return it too. Would you please shut up? I don't have time for this. What's wrong? I became an outsider because of you. I was trying to get away with this peacefully. What do you mean? 
I went to kindergarten today, and no matter who I talk to, when they see my face, they avoid me. Oh, why is that? Why is that? You told them about the lunch, so obviously it's because of that. I didn't blabber around. Why should I do that anyway? Then why is everyone ignoring me? I don't know. The other moms we had lunch with, they wouldn't even look at me. Well, that's just the way it is, and we were all there, and they all know that you still haven't paid me back. I'd said I'd pay, but didn't you do the same thing at the previous kindergarten? What? How did you know? I heard about it from a friend. She told me that you attend mom lunches here and there and eat whatever you like and not pay for yourself. So people got fed up and that you moved out. Is this true? I don't know anything about that. So you're really going to pay me back? I'll pay you when I can. I'm broke right now. You're broke? And yet you came with us to that restaurant knowing the food is pricey. I thought if we split the bill, it wouldn't be a problem, so it's not my fault. No, 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 it's totally your fault. Wow, this is so hilarious. Well, I made you laugh, so I don't have to pay this time. You don't have the money, and you don't want to pay because you made me laugh? That's just a scam. I just wanted to eat the food, and we're friends, so you shouldn't be pricky about this. If we were friends, yes. But you just moved here, and I don't think of you as a friend. That's harsh. I went to get lunch with you because I wanted to make friends. If you want to be friends with people, you'll have to pay for your own food. I'll pay you when I can. But I don't work, so I don't know when that's going to be. God, you're a jerk. I'm willing to pay for it, so I'm not. You're going to regret this. No, I know I won't. The next day... Hey, what did you do? What's wrong? Shut up! Did you tell my mother-in-law what I did? Yes, because if I didn't, I wasn't going to get my $1,500 back, so I told her about it. Why didn't you just tell my husband instead? I don't have your husband's contact info, so I thought it's easier to tell your mother-in-law, who's always at home. Couldn't you imagine that I'd be in trouble if you do that? Yeah, I did expect you to be in trouble, but I'll be in trouble if you don't pay me back. But you kept on saying that you'll pay me back when you don't even have the money. Of course, that's impossible. But I said I'd pay you back. I promised, remember? You ate 15 servings of lunch set, like it was an all-you-can-eat. You ate 72 pieces of cake, and even sent me a message saying the desserts are so delicious, but then you don't even have the money to pay for it. What kind of joke is that? So, the, the thing is, isn't this why you've always been the outsider at the past kindergartens? How do you know? I just have a network. But you're being pricky with that little money. That's not something you say if you can't afford it. Do you have any idea what I'm going through because of you? I don't know. I talked to your mother-in-law, then she apologized to me and paid me back with her own money. You're lucky to have such a nice mother-in-law. She did pay you back? But the problem is what happened after. Because you told my mother-in-law about it, my husband got mad that I'm doing these kinds of things again. Well, that's what you get from doing that kind of thing repeatedly. It's literally the worst. Well, I got my money back, so it's great for me. Shut up. My mother-in-law even told me to leave if I keep on doing this. That's fair. How is it fair? But at least it was your mother-in-law who said that, and not your husband, so it won't be much of a problem anyway. This is serious. My husband can't disobey his mother. Well, I think he'll defend you if he loves you. Or are you not loved anymore? I don't want to admit it, but... You're admitting it. My husband cares more about his mother than he does about me. Well, I can't understand why he would do that. You don't think I ended up like this because of his behavior? No. That's like a kid stealing something from a store and saying society is bad. So, that means you're a child. I don't care if I'm a kid or not. I might get divorced because of you. I can't help you, and I don't even want to help you. It's just your fault for trying to eat and drink without paying. That's why the other moms are ignoring you too. 
It's not my fault for eating what I want to eat. It's my mother's fault for not giving me an allowance. What? You thought a housewife could get an allowance? Unbelievable. What housewife gets an allowance? If you don't get an allowance, you can't eat what you like. Well, I don't care about that. If your family works like that, I won't say anything. So, please help me out. I don't know how I'll live if I get divorced. I don't have any working experience. Who doesn't have work experience nowadays? Well, I'm here. Yes, true. That's why I don't want to get divorced. Help me so I won't get divorced. I don't understand why you're asking me for help. How am I supposed to help you? Just tell my mother-in-law that it was a mistake and give her back the money and it's done. Are you crazy? If you do that, I'll be in trouble. Don't worry, I'll pay you back. When? Mm, well, someday. You're a born con artist, aren't you? Of course not. You can't pay me back when you're not even working. Don't you know you'll be the one to suffer later for lying about what you can't do? Anyway, I'm done. I can't help you. Please, please help me. If you don't help me, I'm going to get divorced. Apologize sincerely then, that it won't happen again. I don't know if it'll work though. Oh, come on. Epilogue. Mary got divorced after all. When she moved into this neighborhood, she had promised that she'd never do it again. Her husband and the in-laws were not the type to forgive her for causing trouble to others, so they did not forgive her for breaking the promise again. In the end, Mary got divorced and got kicked out of the house, leaving her child behind, and to pay her husband's alimony and for the child support, Mary started working. She said she had never worked before, so I'm sure it'll be very hard for her, but I hope she'll do her best for the sake of her child. As for me, I haven't met any other moms like Mary since then, and I'm living a very peaceful life.